Oh. Sorry, I'm eating some structured digestives. Hey. We tried to go to McDouble's, but the queues were too long. So I'm going after instead. So I'm eating chocolate digestive instead. I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna have one more biscuit. I'm straight up yoink. They were just in the kitchen. I just yoinked them. Scurried back into my room like a fucking goblin. No, stay back. Pretty good stuff. My mouth is all biscuity now. Ah. Ma'am, I have truly done nothing today. To be fair, and we're against the clock in Final Fantasy now. Why? Um, because I need to unlock this thing where you do a bunch of crafting. Um, maybe I'll do a crafting stream where I just work on that. That would be interesting. But I need to unlock the crafting thing first. So I can do this thing called Ishgard Restoration where you restore this city, right? So I can unlock the monkey mount and some other mounts because uh they're gone in november you won't be able to get them anymore that area will be turned into a housing area big drive yeah we tried to go to mcdoubles but the queues were too long at 11 at night so i'm just going after stream probably with my brother still Anyway, I can say this while driving. I'm, now I'm done eating my uh, my biscuits, my chocolate digestives. <laughs> All right, where was I? I guarantee you, this stream's going to end up being really quiet now. Just my luck. I had been fluffy all day. What do you mean? So? It doesn't matter. It just will be, you know? You know, a, a busier stream is always going to be more fun. More people to talk to. Yeah. I ain't talking, oh, my numbers. I'm thinking it'd just be more fun. Maybe you've got a cold coming on. E. No, I'm sorry to have inflicted fear. This needs to be a touch louder. That's more like it. Maybe I should have done it on a straight. What does it say? What is it? 
I can't turn the camera. I'm going to restart this. Wow, good start. Great start. Fucking killer stuff. <laughs> I've played a lot of this off stream, may I say. Like, I've done... <clears throat> this is, like, the only... The second stream in, like, a month of this game. Jesus. More than a month. But I've been playing it a lot in between. It's such a good, just chill, wind down kind of game. Like, I'm not feeling happy. Put on some fucking art of rally. This is literally my therapy game, I think. You know, I'm, I was sad today. So I'm going to play art of rally. And I'm doing just abysmally right now. That's more like it. Comfort game is Hollow Knight. Right, but something like Hollow Knight will only be your comfort game for so long, right? Because you can play through it, and then you'll play through it again. Not to, like, talk it down. I apologize. But... Those kinds of games can only be a comfort game for so long, I found. That's what I was like with Darkest Dungeon. It is fishing on Animal Crossing. Fair enough. Either of you know Sips, the person that was in the Yogg's Cast back in the day. Well, he still is. Yogg's Cast, Yogg's Cast Sips. Wouldn't say so, at least for now, just because of the ton of post game DLC. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Something after failing to do it six times. It's always your messages, Danny, that I read when I mess up. Maybe just stop talking. Thanks. <laughs> sorry. No, please don't. I'm sorry. Kill self and gate. How do I do that in this? How do I... Because I can't, like, time out. I guess you deserve that twat. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'll do it like that, where now I, ha I don't restart the race. Now I have to finish it with this time. Uh! Which could end up being a huge inconvenience. Did you record the thing you did, by the way? My car is so damaged now. Yeah? I hope you put it on your Twitter. Well, okay, my brakes just don't work anymore, I don't think. Okay, kind of. But it felt it. Fair enough. I know what you mean. Yeah, do either of you know Yogg's Cast Sips? I get an answer. Yeah, you do. Uh, he's been playing Final Fantasy XIV. And he is, like, such a fucking dad. You know? You used to watch Hold Diggers a ton when you were younger. Fantastic. Um, yeah. He started playing Final Fantasy XIV, and he's such a dad. And all he's done... Right, so the max level is level 80. Um, and in the main story, he's level 50. His fishing level is level 80, and he has one. He has the hardest mount to get from it. He just sits on stream and he just fishes. Just for hours. And he's like, I guess I'll go and do some main story stuff then, now I guess. And then he finishes that stream of fishing, and he's like, Anyway, soon I'll be doing Lawnmower Simulator. 
Like what? How can you be so dad? And he, he loves doing streaming golfing games. Love that guy. The best guy. I remember I refollowed him back uh, at the end of last year. Because I was like, oh yeah, I like Sips. Sips is cool. Uh, but all he was doing was playing Among Us. And we all know how I feel about Among Us. My car is so damaged from Danny redeeming that, uh, that thing. Like, I can't wait until I get to a, uh, repair screen. That could have really fucked me over in the long run. Because it could end up resulting in me failing the entire rally. Like, the championship. And, oh boy. I mean, I'm going to go through it all again anyway. But. Let's see where I placed on the leaderboard, gang. Oh! Normally, I'm in the top thousand. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, once I've finished all the championships, there is no way I'm done with this game. I'm, I'm going for 100%. Let me tell you. And then when I've hit 100%, I'm buying the game again on Steam. And I'm 100%ing it there as well. I'm telling you, man. Rally makes me real happy. Yeah. Post the video to our group chat instead. I will absolutely check it. I am just in like a huge racing game kick out right now, aren't I? What racing game should I play tomorrow? Oh no! D does anyone know if Lonnie will be able to watch tomorrow? If anyone's going to know, it's going to be you two. And I guess Lonnie herself, but I would say probably not. Ah! I want to do Train Sim World 2, but Lonnie needs to be there for Train Sim World. Uh, Train Sim World. Since there was two people who watched me play the first one. And those two people were Hayden and Lonnie. And I don't, for some reason, I don't think Hayden will be showing up for it. I get the feeling. You know, like, like Train Sim World is one of those inside stream jokes that, like, me and Lonnie have. From the early days of being in this group of people. Like, when she had no interest at all in Sekiro. And then sat there for three hours super invested in the game and like no one else is watching good memories really good memories let's see how damaged my car is when we go into the repair screen eh not as bad as I thought actually I'm gonna sneeze I dread the day where I'll uh, have to, like, where I end up sneezing on stream. And, like, my hotkey doesn't work. Like, with base cam on. Oh, come on. That was smooth. Ooh.
I wonder if for the Ishgard restoration I'll have to do any fishing. Because it is a gathering thing. Yeah. I'm if there's gonna be a coveted chilled Final Fantasy stream, by the way, where I just kind of do some some menial task and chat. It will be it will be soon. If like it were because it it will be for a Shogard restoration. Since I'm I'm gonna feel like I'm working towards a, a task. And but also, you know a very streamy kind of task. I'm gonna feel terrified the entire time that it will be boring. You know how I am. But hey, I'll give it a shot. I need to unlock it first. I'd probably be really close to unlocking it if I hadn't have stopped and watched that uh, fashion contest. Oh, sorry, glam contest. But it's not every so every day you come across one of those, so. Why not, eh? Why not? That's it. Oh, we still came second. Not bad, considering I threw one of the races. Guess I didn't throw hard enough. Maybe you... Yeah, Danny was the one in first. Oh my god, look at that thing. It's called the Little Monkey. Yes, Danny. Oh, I love that. That looks beautiful. What's that for? Il Gorilla E2. Reminds me of you and Smokey's farming stream. There's another one of those coming. I didn't do it last weekend because of reasons. I don't actually remember the reason. The, uh, the last Tuesday. But I did. I will do it. Hey, Kyle, welcome back. We're in Group A. Look at that beautiful thing. You go to gym. Have fun. Look at it. The Das Ibenhammer. I love these little intro scenes. They're really tra charming, I think. Look at how flat all the cars were in this in these years. Ah, oh, you just spun out, you silly billy. The umbozu! Umibozu! Yeah, the cars get faster and faster with each one. So now it's going to be a big old mess. And I'm going to introduce all the characters. Yeah! I love it! Oh, look at that one. I like that one. It looks like it's not going to be very good on corners, though. Oh, no. It doesn't drift at all. Oh, that's the one that I got the cool uh, thing for. That one looks fun to drive. I reckon that's going to be great at drifting. Yeah, look at... Uh, that's a different car. It, never mind. And... I love rally cars. Wait, that's group of S. Oh, wait, it goes group two, group three, group four, group B, group S, group A. Okay, interesting. So which was the one that I wanted? I wanted that. I didn't change the color. I didn't change the color. I'm a fool. We're backing out. I'm changing the color. They even quit. No. 
Yes, actually. Save and quit. Career. Retire from season. Yes. Group S. All just because I wanted a different car. Gorilla. Yeah! Now we're in Japan and all. I don't know what if it was Japan before either. Wasn't paying attention if I... If I'm honest. Actually, last time I did do an area in this game, while pretty sad, it was I was zooming through the Japan area listening to the new Chutara P. Let me tell you, that made me happy. And uh, former hero. It cheered me up. So much music has come out recently. Ooh. Fred V, Hudson Lee. Tutara, former hero. Two hours. Oh yeah, there was the annex. That was pretty good. Uh, feed me. I can't turn this car. I can't. Eh. Eh. I can't do it. Now he's cutting too much. Oh, I hate this area. This is the worst car I could have picked. For this. Look at it. Eh. I can't with that area. Even in, like, good drifting cars, I can't do that. Oh. Fuck. I thought I was going to cut that really close, but I cut it. Well, I guess too close. You've missed Pog Day. Not very crewmate chungus of you. Sorry, that just came to your head. Naturally. I, I don't blame you. I do wonder what goes through your mind at certain times, to be honest, Kyle. Isn't you that spotted voice you're thinking of earlier? Oh, right. Look forward to seeing that. It sounds funny. Twice an episode? Like every episode or just in one? Every episode, I love that. I, I've got a weird affection for bits that are only funny because they're overdone. You know? staple of the series. Well, I can imagine the fact that it happens so often is, yes, iconic, but that probably makes it funny, you know? Like, a, a just, I don't know, maybe not even funny, just a feeling of joy when something happens like that. It's just like, yeah, the thing happened. I will see. A seven point, a seven mile run in this car. Remind me to never pick it again, even if it looks really cool with this, these colors. This will be, this won't be as bad though, since it's uh, gravel. Or dirt? I think it's dirt. Probably dirt. Uh, Wobbling. This is fine. Oh, you know what's another series I could play through? Since both Psycho Psychonauts 1 and 2 are both on Game Pass, I could do those. 
I don't know why I hadn't considered that until now. I was like, eh, I'm probably not going to play them. I have no reason to. But then I was like, dude, I literally fucking stream playthroughs of games that I most of the time haven't played before. Why wouldn't I do Psychonauts? That'd be a fun one. People could get attached to things and be like, oh, that was my favorite. You know? I wonder when the time will come where I'll do a uh, Fire Emblem playthrough on stream. Like, uh, no, as in, like, another Three Houses one. Actually, no, why would I when I can do another just Fire Emblem game? I wasn't looking at the screen for that turn, and it turned into one of the coolest turns that I've done. I got a Snapchat, and so it distracted me. Unless it was one of you. And it didn't distract me. I was focused. Eyes. Well, I fucking eyes back. Watching you. Oh yeah. You know this car. Whoop! Little too much sauce. Um, this car is much nicer on this surface. There's too much grip on Tarmac. So I can't do stuff like that where it's a nice clean corner. At least we've got a nice straight for a bit. Oh, Kyle. Kyle, are you used to hear? Kyle, can you hear me? Background noise. Wee woo, Kyle. Og Amogus calling Kyle. I'm just throwing out some keywords that might get his attention. He's like an Alexa. What are the ones at the moment? Tommy hurt? That might trigger something. Maybe he's just not here. Og Amogus. No, you don't understand. I see. Okay, you have just reminded me. I we've been messing around with bots recently in in the Discord because, of course, do exactly what you just said. No, you don't get it. Um, yeah, we've been messing around with bots because you know Marvin's dead, the music bot. Rest in peace. The best that there ever was. Um, and so we needed a new music bot. And that was my best time on this map, in a car that I hate. Um, yeah, so Marvin's, Marvin's gone, so I need a new music bot. And so I went through and we found Hydra. Hydra is amazing. I love Hydra. But then I had a moment of, we used Rhythm and Groovy. Groovy's dead. Groovy's gone. And I've used that bot since 2017, so I'm quite sad about it. He used to be called Marv back then. Back in 2017, he was called Marv. And then they rebranded it, which is why he's called Marvin. Because the music bot room got called Marvin's room after the Drake song. Um, and then they renamed it to Groovy. Uh, and now it's dead. They got some kind of cease and desist or something from YouTube. I don't know why. But they're gone. I see it's playing. Yep, playing goodbye. Yeah, they're gone. Um, if you need a replacement, Hydra. Hydra is fantastic. They set up, like, they have this dedicated chat room where it shows the entire queue, and it updates depending on what song is playing, and it play shows the album art in, like, the dedicated channel, and it's it's really good. Um, yeah, anyway, so I was messing around with Discord bots. And I had a random idea. Because at the moment we just throw out Amogus related words because we're creatures. Um, 
And I was like, what if I made a chat where all you can say is sus, amogus, among us, uh, and stuff like that. And so I went and found the bot message filter and made it so any message that isn't something like that gets deleted and the bot just says amogus, among us moment. So, <laughs> so we just have a chat filled with those words. And they broke it at one point. For some reason, they decided, like, Morgan and everyone thought that I cared about that chat, and they, like, spammed it and broke the bot. But I, I don't... I, I just thought it would be funny to have that chat there. Um, but then it caught up, you know, and deleted the messages and whatever. But yeah. It's just the dumbest idea, having a message filter bot, where you can only say a specific word. Yeah, rest in peace, Marvin. The best music bot since 2017. I remember I started using that Groovy when it was pretty new. Like I was just like, ah, music bot. This one, this one will do whatever this is. And then it turned out to be really great. And then it got super popular. And then it turned into Groovy. That's right. Call me a hipster. I'm kind of getting the vibe with this car a bit. I don't know if it's if you can tell. Like this corner is a bad example, but I'm drifting a lot more because this is the same road that I was on when I was complaining a bunch, but going the other way. I need to continue working on my car uh, driving games. Fuck. Not tonight. I'm going to finish this stream at, what, 1am? Like, half one. And then I'm going to go and get food. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to sit here in complete darkness, eating a McDouble's. It's going to be great. Oh my, the AI just went and ran for it. How am I getting, like, no, this it's just, it's just for this stage, I guess. I can't wait to get into the 90s with these races. That's when I can use my Subaru. And, you know, I could try some of the other vehicles, but no. It would feel like cheating on, like, you know, in a relationship. To go against my uh, Subaru like that. I should do a Forza Horizon War stream at some point, just for the sake of it. Since, I mean, 5's coming out soon, isn't it? November. And I will be playing that the moment it comes out. In fact, I've got a friend that I can actually play it with this time. He's also interested. How do you get it to display the album art? Do you, um... What is it? What's the... What's the prefix for it? Do the prefix and then just do setup. The command is just setup and it will make the voice channel for you. And you can control what's like, and you can like skip it and such by just clicking a button. Like you don't have to write a command. You can just click the skip button in that voice ch in that text channel and it will skip it which marvin used to have something like that groovy used to have something like that but i, I don't know where it went i never really liked rhythm there was something about it 
There are two bots that in my mind I just don't really like. And it's me six and rhythm. There's no specific reason why I don't like them. They just seem so generic. And boring. Like they do their job. There's no fun to it. Which isn't, you know, it's a bot, it just does things and that's that's the end of it, but important. I just realized how fucked the light is when going across that bridge. Where you light up underneath, like through the bridge. I don't think that's right. But hey. I wouldn't know how to do it better. At all. You know, I, I really am getting along with this car now. I hated it at first, but we're good. We're good. We're homies now, me and this car. Amazing how much time I can just that can just vanish when I'm playing this. It does not at all feel like I've been here for 40 minutes already. That channel is so cool. Yeah, the, it yeah. So it doesn't get yeah. It removes everything. It do, it keeps it really clean. It's the fucking best. And so when a song finishes and it goes on to the next one. It updates the album art. It updates what songs are in the, like it updates where everything is in the queue. And it is so good. And like I said, you can control it using the the like react emotes at the bottom to skip songs and whatever. It's terrific. It's something that I feel like is so obvious that you could do with a music bot, but it's so rare because a Groovy had something kind of like it, but then it got removed for whatever reason. And just no other bot since then has done it besides Hydra that I've come across. Hang on, the cat's just opened my door. just forced open my door and has gone to go and sleep on my clothing now like in my in the cupboard don't look at me like that i can see you so all of the because of course my all my clothing is in like a, a drawer right and it's just folded up and in there and piled up so should now all of the top pieces of clothing in there are gonna have cat fur on them I love how the the like people watching come and run out into the road when it gets close and then they run back in when you get too close because that's that's what it's like that's what they actually that's what actually happens in rally but oh, spectators that's what I was looking for It's such an unnecessary touch adding the people, but it's one that adds so much more personality to the game and I love it. Because it's a weirdly iconic part of Rally. Doing that, where there's Rally, there's that, you know? Am I going back into a you know phase? Or I just say you know to everything. I'm gonna go get some water. Good luck at midnight. Safe travels. Ooh.
the end rally of this series, this, this group is going to be real long. I ended up spending so much time with it. The last one was real long. So the one for group A is going to be ridiculous. Oh yeah, I still don't know why my some of my Mario VODs... It's only ever Mario games. Some of the Mario VODs just get taken down for child safety. And then, I'm, and then I appeal it and I'm like, Hey, this is a Mario game. I don't think it's that dangerous to have this up on your website. And then like, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can have that video back. Ah. I am getting through my water. Hey! I got first by a decent margin. Time for the awards. You know what that means. Here it comes. That's what we want. That's what we like. Yeah. Das Iben Hammer is going to be a nightmare for me to drive. I don't know if I even want to try it. Group S unlock. You drive that in this group? No. No, you can't, right? Yeah, no, you can't. What was it that I said I was going to use? What, the one that I was like, oh, I'm going to love that car. I think it was the one that I just unlocked. I've been finding myself really warming up to the color orange recently. A nice soft orange. And I ain't talking about the fruit. The fruit. Oh my god, this thing is so much more slippery. Oh, I love it. I instantly prefer it. Yeah, don't go into the crowd, you num nums. That's right. I called them a num nums. What videos were I watching last time I was in this area? Oh, it was some Turkey Tom video. So truly, could have been anyone. Fuck. Went on like a spree of watching Turkey Tom. Only the video like about the people who I knew. Yeah. Not one to look up drama about people I don't care about. I don't really look at drama about people who I do care about. But sometimes I guess that's just what you're looking for. I hate most commentary channels. I used to be all over it, but it's not interesting anymore. Now I like... Do I... What do I like? Informative videos, I guess. It was a barely sociable video that was meant to watch a new one. Don't need to watch that. About the most corrupt investigation ever or whatever. I love that stuff. Little lemono. Little 
Lemino is my boy. I've been watching that dude fucking years, and it makes me so happy that he's like a mainstream dude now. And he still does what he does best. It's crazy to think that his channel started off out started out as top ten memes. And he would get the top ten memes from the internet and put them into a video. Now look at him. Doing a video about cicada. I forget what the number is. And other serious topics like Jatlov Pass. DB Cooper. I love this car. Now you know what you have to do. What? What do I have to do? I honestly didn't. I just zoned out then and I was just kind of talking. What do I have to do? What do I know I have to do? <laughs> oh, nighttime. Make a meme channel. Eh. That doesn't sound like my kind of thing. Imagine. I hate videos that do lists like that. Like I don't I don't like them very much. Is it That's why you say it. I thought so. Um There's with like since I've now been getting Final Fantasy videos in my YouTube recommended. Top ten anime, yeah! But even like just lists in general. Where it's like, with Final Fantasy, it's what race likes what, acts like whatever, what class each class thinks of you, and each class's raid, job in a raid, and it's like, just someone doing a voice over a fill of their character, or something, and I, I don't know. It's like, haha, that's relatable and probably true, but, I don't know. Probably there's more that could be done with it, I guess. I guess I like the idea of top tens and such. It's just I don't like what I is actually done with them. That's right. And that's why I'm making a new review channel for doing top tens. What is content? True. What is content? I'm si I'm again, I'm sitting here by myself playing a very simple arcade rally game and that could be classed as content but I want to do some like really high quality stuff at some point you know like get an actual video planned and like have it shot in an interesting way do something cool Content with my content. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fucking hell. I think that's why I... Right. While I don't want to do face cam a lot, I think I'm glad that I think that the face cam last stream went well. And it's that I felt comfortable making somewhat of a fool of myself on camera and i was able to do visual bits physically because i want to do visual bits i want to do things with people in person and i guess starting to use face cam a little bit more is the beginning of that And I ain't talking, I'm just going to put face cam on in every stream as you watch me stare dead forward. No. That would be, that'll be stupid. Not stupid. Plenty of other streamers do it. And it's plenty fine, but... Really resonated with you? <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, that kind of stuff is great. Oh. Uh, 
I think it helps that I'm uh, much more comfortable with my appearance now. Where I've kind of neaten myself up, you know, got my hair cut a bit. Lost some weight. I feel a lot more comfortable. In making a fool of myself because I don't actually think that I look like a fool. Ah, this car is really bad in the rain. Like, this car is really bad in the rain. It's already a slidey as hell car. Oh, do you have August? Are you glad you went yesterday? Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're happy you did. That's the thing, is with me self-isolating at the moment, I'm not going to the gym. And I was like, oh, I'll just do ring fit, but I haven't been. Because, of course, being in my room isn't the place where I exercise, so... I'm kind of worried. But hey, that fear of losing progress will probably just motivate me. Because it definitely is. This is actually horrid with rain. You know, try every other day. Every other day is good. Every other day is fantastic for, like, casual exercise. You're just keeping yourself, like, active. Every, doing it every day means it's much more, like, you'll feel bad if you skip out on it. But for casual stuff, I haven't figured out a good time anymore. You keep passing out before 6 a.m. Ooh, maybe you should uh, wake up at 6 a.m. You know, be one of those people. The you know, people that wake up, and then they eat their special K, and then they go for a jog. You know the kind. You want to be that person, but you just can't. We all want to be that person. And no, I don't want to be that person. Hey, yeah, there is something about doing X. Hang on, there's a tweet from Jericho that perfectly encapsulated it. I I remember the joke he made now. When you get put seven eggs. Woke up at 2am. Yeah. Jericho, what, did, what was it he said? Let me find this. How do people work out in the morning? My body is a wet noodle with zero energy. Can't even lift my own ego before 10 a.m. <laughs> that me? <mean>? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Nearly fell then. Nearly took a tumble. I have gotten better at being awake earlier, like, for work and such. And that's, the tr my trick has been cold showers. Peak is, like, four in the afternoon. Ah, when everyone's out. And you don't really want to be out jogging. I see the problem. I'm dead. I'm going to crash. Nope, I'm good. I just kind of felt the car slipping. Now you lived in rural spot, that wouldn't be a problem. True. There are benefits and downsides to both. Because also if you lived in a rural spot, less poker stops. And now I know that that's important. There is no winning. I still don't know. Like, if I could choose, you know, get a full-time job and I'm feeling comfortable, 
and I go and live somewhere. 100% not living in the city in the future. That's kind of where I'm at. And I don't even really live in one right now. Like, somewhere just outside of a city, you know? I'll, I'll sacrifice the, the transit time. If I'm working in a city, just live just outside of it. I'll sacrifice that transit time. That's assuming that I end up working in a city. Who knows, maybe this time next year I'll be the big famous streamer. I'll be shaking hands with Pokimane and... I don't know. Who, who are the big popular one? Ludwig? Just want a studio and a really nice view of some hills and a lake or something. God, you're such an artist. <laughs> Fuck. I think um, that's exciting me because, of course, you know, I want to be a game developer, game designer, rather. Is that the dream company that I want to work for, they're in Leamington Spa, which is just outside of Birmingham. So I'd live just outside of just outside of Birmingham, you know, like just outside of Leamington, which is just outside of Birmingham. So on the other side, living just outside of Leamington on the other side of it from Birmingham. Fuck. Get a job with a game developer so you can get me on the art team? Absolutely. Ooh. Or, you know what, let's just build an indie dev company and build the entire thing off of nepotism. What could go wrong? I like this song. Okay, but genuinely? Yeah. I do, dude, I'm working on games all the time at the moment. Like, <laughs> and I want a game jam. I need to start looking for game jams. Although you probably wouldn't do too well with a game jam because they're like week-long things. Make an entire game in a week. An indie game is so exciting. Do you want to make a fishing game? Where you can draw all the fish and have like a really weird art style. There's something about making a fishing game that interests me at the moment. Just because it seems like satisfying and like not too difficult to work out, I guess. That has the vibes of like Animal Crossing, per chance. <laughs> oh, vibing out in the wind, right? Maybe I'll take a break from. Yeah, I, I totally get it. Absolutely, I know what you mean. Maybe I'll uh, take a break from making racing games for a bit and see and have a look at that kind of thing. Because I'm kind of interested in it. Although there's one more uh, racing thing I am going to make first. Because it's interesting me. Got to follow the passion. Follow the fun, as game developers say. Game design. Follow the fun.
racing game where you drive to different fishing spots. But it wouldn't be a racing game, would it? It'd just be a driving game. But that could be cool. That could actually be super cool. With like a very simple art style. Where you just drive and then you just fish for a while. And there's like the driving part of the game. And then there's the fishing part of the game. And you catch the fish. And you, if then you can take them to a base. Yeah, something like this. Exactly. And you drive the fish to a shop and you sell them. And in there you can like talk to people and there are all these characters. Oh no. It's happening. The game's becoming ambitious. <laughs> but also, every game needs its customization. True. I've not looked into how to do uh, customization of things in games. Very interests me. But I, I just don't know how you would do some of it. Like Steam. <laughs> Why do you mention Steam achievements? Ooh. Nearly flipped. But yeah, I often think about it in like a game where your character can look like whatever. Like an RPG. I don't know how you get the. You should have them. Of course it would. But I don't know how you would get the uh, clothing to fit on everything. I don't know how that works. I haven't looked into it yet. I'm sure it's like something that's not actually that difficult to figure out, but. Like, just do a bunch of checks. Like, you have a different. Uh, like, attribute properties of the item, and you do a bunch of checks. Clothing piece stretches. That's a pretty easy fix, I guess. It gets away with it somehow, because it's The Sims. Name one Sims competitor. <laughs> they can do whatever they want. And even if there was a Sims competitor, it wouldn't do well, because it's not The Sims. You know, Sim... Fuck. Doesn't really look bad. I wouldn't have noticed. That kind of thing is very interesting. The diff, because there's probably like a million different tricks that you can do to get the same effect with that. Which is what's so fascinating. Fascinating. Sorry, I went brummy for a second. Um. What's so fascinating about game dev is there's a certain million ways to do one thing. Unlocking them is easy, but applying them is where I don't know. There's a real motive for progress. Thank you. Of course. And you can have like different methods of doing it, like one you pay for, one. Once you hit a certain point, you just unlock it. Because that gives player option, uh, like options. This van is just called Vans. Deliveries! Yay! Ugh. Have a shoe pun and cries that you couldn't. That's just my fucking life on stream. The amount of time, the amount of things you don't hear of me being like, I can make a joke out of this, and then I sit there for a moment and I'm like, nothing's coming to me. It's just not happening. Try the gorilla. I like that. Controller disconnect. The fuck? I think it's out of battery. 
One moment. On charge at the stream. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, no, I'm a smart. Don't even tell me otherwise. Okay. We're gaming. Oh, this thing's heavy. Okay. Danny, I'm going to exp uh, expand upon uh, that game idea even more and create a personal attachment to the car where you only have one car and it starts off as a little piece of shit and uh, you have to like look after and all that. That's brilliant. <laughs> I just, <laughs> hell yeah. So instead of like, oh, you get to choose the car and whatever, you just like have this little dumpy car at the start. And of course, by fishing, you un unlock the ability to repair and then maybe upgrade and whatever. You put an animal in the back seat. Oh, I've just thought of something. <laughs> so what if it's like a pickup, right? And the pickup, so you can see into the back of it. And that's where the little animal sits. Like you have a little dog. You just comes, comes with you or anything or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I've got such a cool image for this in my head. I might write down an actual, make like a very brief actual game design document of this. Where you travel locations to rescue animals. I mean, absolutely. That's the kind of thing where you can market, as long as you market it correctly, you'll find an audience. And it's the it's the Animal Crossing or you know, the Animal Crossing Stardew Valley. That audience. Shit. Although a lot of a lot of indie companies have been kind of targeting that kind of vibe recently, I've noticed. But hey, who cares, right? Doing it for fun. Something to be able to show people and be like, hey, give me a job, I work on this. What the fuck? 
That sounded weird. Why are you able to add like four games? You wish this from the Aston Duke. Yeah. Oh, we're back in the dark. The nighttime levels have really been showing up a lot more now. Almost like I'm in the harder categories now. Weird that. I was just thinking the game would need some kind of like world progression, like the story progressing or whatever. But I already mentioned earlier, like you go to into town or whatever, and there's all the characters that are actual characters. And you could just like by talking to them, you can hear about things happening and then you may see them happening throughout the world. That kind of thing. So the world progresses around you, not because of you. What about quests? Well, that would be like, you know, hey, I need some of this kind of fish or whatever. And then they'll give you money or they'll offer to do something to the car. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not very good with quests. I don't think I'm a very good quest designer. I think of very basic stuff. I'd be good, I'd be a good quest designer for an MMO. But that's it. Because you, you know, go and take my soup from the soup shop to my house. Thank you, dairy. And then you need to go to the soup shop and you take it to the house. I'd be good at that level design. I mean, that good. Let quest design. Oh, why are those there? I have to be a soup shop. Just for the memes. I'm a, and it would have to just be called soup. I hope you know what video I'm referencing. Yep, that's the one. I think that's something that I like the idea of with making a cute little indie game is being able to fill it with just what just references and such that I want. Remember when I talked about with Yeti making a game and it was just the idea of adding uh, like references that only we would understand. And there's something that would be very sweet about that. That have no meaning unless you explain it. Undertale's got stuff like that, right? Where the annoying dog is Toby Fox. And you would have no idea besides, like, one simple hint. Uh, but because he mentioned it, that's why you know. Which makes it kind of sweet when you know that. I like this song. Wear a cowboy hat and carry TNT. Fucking Christ, that would be an obscure reference. Or there's like <laughs> these two people, right? And they had they need they're destroying of something and they need TNT or whatever. And um and then one cat one of them is like carrying TNT and you just in passing you just have a chance of hearing one of them going, you know, for once, I might be glad I'm the one carrying the TNT. And then that's it. That's the end of it. I wonder how long we're going to remember that reference. I mean, now that it's a part of my channel, for as long as it's still a part of my channel, but... It's such an obscure bit that's not entertaining to anyone but the people that were there during that. Like, it's not even a bit where you can just, like, you hear it happen and you're like, oh, that's kind of funny. Like, you have to know the context. Even when I reply and I'm like, Hennessy, fucking, come on, dude. 
Stop carrying the TNT everywhere. You don't need it. This is like an after hours Wolfie stream, isn't it? I mean, like in time, but also in the fact that I'm just kind of like, I'm not in content mode. I'm just in, I'm talking mode. Very different vibe. No goofs, no gaffs. And this is why I love the art of rally. You know, just chatting is a category. I wouldn't be able to do just chatting. It's still content. You know what I mean by content mode though, right? Like, ah, oh, I've got to make jokes. I've got to be funny. Got to be doing things. You know, maybe I am good to up the difficulty a touch because I'm consistently getting first now. Oh, we're in the snow. I'm going to go and get lost. I think, yeah, Danny, once I've... Um, I've done... I've done the stream. I've ate, I've gone and got my food. And I'm just sitting there chilling in like a dark room. I might write actually write up this a game design document for this, like the beginning of one. I like to do it when I have a game idea. I've got one for my racing game as well. Like just a game design. It's just to get the ideas down. Because too many times do you think of some cool ideas? And then you just, they're just gone. That's why when I have silly ideas now, when I'm like falling asleep or just woken up, instead of just ignoring it, um, shit, I either put it down in my notes somewhere or I just throw it in a discord. Recorded. In this case, is it? yeah, it is recorded in this case, but it's not the best way to keep track of the ideas. This is horrid. I am not doing well on this snow. I actually remember um, when I was a child and I'd play WRC Extreme 2, I think, and I, f I was really good at it. I would I would win every race consistently and I was like, hey dad, look how look how amazing I am at this game. I'm so good. And then he was like, don't get too confident because at some point someone's gonna someone will beat you at the game. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I did the next race and I just was watching as the times were coming up red and I was like I'm actually not in like straight heavy first i'm like actually losing now what what the fuck that's what snowing right because and that race was a snowy race hang on i'll read your message in a moment but you can get out change your outfit go fishing and then surf down the hill What do you mean, surf down the hill? A sledge! Huh. Interesting. Be cute. You can sledge on grass too. It's just a uh, sliding. And slightly slower in considerably I wouldn't know what to do the thing is, right, is all of the ideas for games that I think of, they're just low-poly 3D games. And I feel bad when I 
think of a low poly 3D game and I'm like, hey, illustrator friend, do you want to join in on this? Because I don't know what illustrations there would be for them to like do on it. Besides UI, of course. Finish a stage during snow. There's no way this is my first snow stage. Oh, I guess because it was snowing. Or maybe I just never finished all the others. Maybe I just died. Hold, holding. I've been holding the right trigger this entire time. Look at this drift! Oh, that's perfect. I just realized how bad this looks on stream, this area. You can barely even see what's the road and what's the ice. I'm just all horse, said Rami CSB. Can you post a link? Yeah, you won't get timed out for anything. No, the bot will be fine. I probably should set something up for that. I'll check that momentarily. I'm kind of vibing with this car now on the snow. Look at that. That was flawless. There we are. Let me have a look. Oh, right, yeah. Like 2.5D. I think that is. Maybe that's the name for it. Spirit Fair is pretty just 2D, isn't it? Just a flat surface. Like that, that is, that game that you just showed me, that's like 2D art, but the game is in a 3D environment, right? It's just done with 2D, but then Spirit Fairer is just 2D, where you can go left, right, up, and down. Hence what makes that game 2.5D, where it's like a 3D space done in a 2D way. What a corner that was. Five D is cool. Absolutely. All of the, uh, like, most of the, the non three D Zelda's, you know, the like a link to the past, a link between worlds, awakening, two point five D, and it's, and they are charming as hell. Emblem Echo is 2.5D. I don't know what that would count as, honestly. Oh, you mean the running around segments? Like the dungeon segments? Or do you mean the battle segments? Because there's a lot of different phases of that game. 
the dungeon part the dungeon parts of 3d yeah the battle 2.5 i think the battles are actually just i think they would just be considered as 2d because they lean a little more into just being flat you know like it's like battleships right you don't think of battleships uh the like board game as like 3d at all besides it being a physical object it's just a flat board where you place the things on it and that's what Fire Emblem Echoes is like I don't know my I think my isn't head on I don't know I don't I my definition of 2.5d I think is a little loose maybe I don't know the you know of course there's going to be a legit definition for it I guess maybe it would be it is somewhere between the two. I was wondering what that white yellow pipe was. I don't know why I went to go say white. I thought that was the end of the race, so I went in with too much speed. That is here, though. This is a good turn. Um, I'm going to be back in a moment. Don't go anywhere. I, I actually. Hang on, I know what, I'll know what I'll do. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be... Alright, okay. I'll be back in a moment. Don't go anywhere. I'm getting a little bit of a headache. Hmm. Where's my mouse? There it is. Oh yeah, I need to. Here. Oh wow, I nearly won all of them. Well done, me. Two spoilers. Ah. When do I get to race this Uber Doubts Uber van? Am I really already halfway through? Am I really already going into the nineties? Good damn uh, good good damn. Well, good damn it! Let me try this thing. Look at this, it looks fun. Little French mobile. Yeah, this is just my French mobile. I drive it when I'm French. Are there any, like, big car makes that are French? Which there has to be, right? Okay, I know that there's a lot of German, some English, and like Japanese, but what car makes a French? Yeah. Who 
couldn't even tell me in English car. Ford. Ford's English. Oh, look at the snow again on the car. It's amazing. When traveling through snow, having it like a visible change is so exciting. I remember doing GTA roleplay and then back when me and Router were on our bicycles and we were going through the snow at one point and the, the, the snow would get left on the wheels and it was the most exciting thing. It looked so cool. That feeling of authenticity. Whoa, I thought that that was like a hill. Couldn't see where I was going. I wonder how they made the car controllers for this game. I'm curious. Oh, it's the end. That was a short race. Stuck on this divine beast. Which one? And don't give me the name. Just tell me the animal. Camel, um, do you know about lifting up the lightning spikes? Oh, wait, not even that. The, like, puzzle part of it, right? Yeah, you can rotate it. Yeah, there's always some, some way to control it. And look at the map since you got it. Right. Have you, um, which ones have you done then? I love this car. Shit. Why is the road like that? There's no purpose. Water, elephant and bird. Okay. Whoops. Uh, I think camel is like technically the hardest. I remember that being a thing. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Some frame drop. I think I should take a headache tablet thing before I head off to get food. Ugh. The idea of like getting food late at night is such a cozy one. Like, I think everyone understands that. There's that Game Grumps thing from Sonic Boom where they hung out all night. Um, you have a headache too? Oh, we're sharing our headache. Luckily, one of us just doesn't have it because then it would be way worse for that person. Um, where they, they hang out and, like, were playing games all night. Like, all fucking night. And they would just, and, and then they, it got to, like, 5 a.m. And then they went out and got some food, right? But because they were so tired from hanging out all night that they were just kind of sat there eating in silence while the sun rose. And while that sounds miserable, that's the kind of thing that you look back on with great fondness. I really damaged the car. I love that kind of thing. 
the idea of I think that's what's exciting about working in uh, like an indie company, a small games development company is where like you don't really have like dedicated hours of work or anything um, because it's such like a small team um, and you're like really feeling it and so you and the guy you stay in the office and you just work until like midnight because the, and you're fucking shattered afterwards and you're like hey let's go and get some food and then you just go for a nice nighttime drive go and get some food and just, just vibey getting food at night time is the like one appealing thing about a, a city for me where you got a million places that are open 24 7 my only option mcdoubles actually i think there are some that open like stay open like 2am they're all order and the food that you'll probably get from them at 2am probably isn't going to be the best i think we should try it sometime remember there was one time when i was drinking came home and was like man I want some damn food. And I got home and there was one there was one place that bug There was one place that I don't really like that were still accepting orders and it was like 1 a.m. So I ordered from them and I sat the entire for like the time it took them to deliver the food. And I had like a wrap and some chips and a and something else. I use chicken. I had one bite of the wrap, and something about that wrap just set me off, and I just immediately went and threw up, and then went to sleep. So I ordered all that food, and had one bite before I went to sleep. And let me tell you. It wasn't very nice in the morning. And it was the wrong kind of wrap as well. I just wanted it was like a, I just wanted a chicken wrap. They brought me chicken tikka wrap. Wrap. Maybe that's what threw me off. And caused me to throw up. Just my body was like, oh I can't wait to have this chicken wrap. And then it wasn't. And then it was like, ah This can't be. I don't even remember what night that was. I can remember most nights out, but I can't remember that one. Well, most nights out where I have more to drink than normal. Normally something significant happens. There's one time me and Sam had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation while walking home. The one time where I got a taxi home with a friend while another person that I was out with was just dying. Uh, that I just kind of left other people to deal with because I wanted to go home. It was the time when I got a message and personal things were shared between me and Redacted while intoxicated, which was a risky endeavor. Why am I sharing all this? Well, I guess I'm not really sharing much. I'm just kind of talking. This sounds pretty. Yeah, moving on swiftly. Ooh. I'm trying to think of other times. Oh, there was the really shameful night that I haven't shared on stream or shared with you, Danny. Like, not even through DMs. I don't wish to. I wasn't proud of it. I was sick for two days, so I don't think it was just because of drinking with friends. I think it was, I was actually just sick. So it was just unfortunate timing. I decided to go out that night. 
I, I word this like I go out and heavily drink or something. I don't. Just, you know, sometimes you have one too many. And I actively try not to. Yay, night time. It's comfy at night. Immediately put to the floor. Pure speed. On the snow. In the dark. Especially easier to see the track now. Since it's not reflecting off the ice. The light. I'm just going around the ramp. I don't care. Ooh. Now, if there's anything learned from game, it's that you always want to be on the ground. It's the best way to keep speed. You hadn't shared. It was just that you were sick. Yes. Or were those two stories linked? Which two? Where you got a call. A, a call? When did I mention that I got a call? A text. Oh, from Redacted about serious things. Um, no, those are two different occasions. I have to listen and do brain stuff, no problem. No, the time recently was... The, the shameful time was more recently. The thing where I got an important message and had a conversation about with Redacted was at the end of last year, I think. So you can probably piece together what the messages were about and who it included. Danny, specifically. Shit! Yeah, no, I had a, a night recently where I got very ill. Um, after a night out. And I assumed that I was just, uh, like, getting ill. And then went out while getting ill. And so it just pulled all the badness forward. Having alcohol. And it was very shameful. And I... I was very unhappy with myself. I need to just find the sound. I, I wonder if the soundtrack to this game is on Spotify. The thing about this kind of game is, like, you search Art of Rally kind of thing. Is It's not a very well-known game. So it would probably be hard to find things for it. Oh, I came second? Bomber. Was that really it? Oh, that was just stage one. That was uh, rally one. F2. Okay. The same wonderful car. I do really like this one. Each group has like... I like each group more and more than the last. Probably because they get more interesting and fun as you move on.
Although, I'm not... Tarmac's difficult to drive on. How ironic is that? The road is harder to drive on. What is the world coming to? Eh. Then just stop driving on the road, forehead. Easy fix. My oh, nose is itchy. Okay, I'm good. Kind of gone going quiet. I think it's because I'm getting a bit tired. Got a slight headache. It's a chill night in it. Not very good background noise though. Just the sound of an engine. And that's it. Quite excited to go for this drive with my brother afterwards though. Because I rarely actually get to go with a drive, go for a drive late at night with people. Besides, like Harry, of course, I love doing that. Harry's my boy. And you can update me on whatever infuriating internet hijinks he's come across. Because I, I kind of actively try and not look at dumb stuff that happens on the internet because I like being happy. But Harry, he hunts it down. He, he, un, he digs up all the drama, all the dumb things that are going on. It's... I don't know how he does it. He doesn't hate himself. Oh, that was such a clean turn. Up until I went off. I don't know how people run, like, drama channels and such on the internet. Where they look at drama and then they they go and talk about it in a commentary video. I don't know how you can actively seek that stuff out and then talk about it for long periods of time and do that. And that's all you do. That's your job. To find all the horrible things that are going on. Is exhausting? It is. People live off it. Hang on, I'm gonna be back in a moment. Uh, yeah, it won't be long. I should wait. How do I hide UI? Why? Okay, yeah, I'll be back in. I'll be back in a moment.
Hey gang. I'm back. I am exhausted for some reason. Oh. You know, you'd think I'd come back and be all chatty and have something to say about what I just went, why I disappeared for a bit, but no. I'm here to sit in silence. Until I finish this rally. He just would love me. <laughs> I think teachers did like me. I meowed at a teacher once accidentally. Kind of. I was talking to someone during class and she was like, Lewis! And then I kind of got jumped and I made a noise that kind of sounded like a meow. Explains why you like Final Fantasy, yeah. Um, but it kind of sounded somewhat like a meow and the teacher just like, moved on and then she paused for a second she's like did you just meow at me and then um two of my friends uh, laughed very hard it was very weird you, you say that by the way i uh found a video last night and it's a group of people who normally play military sims but they played Final Fantasy and they all made their characters. And most of the people just played as cat girls. <laughs> I'm in a conflict right now. Because you got Fantasias, right? Where you can change your appearance, race, gender, all of that of your character, but keep all your items. And I want to switch to a male character that's more like a self-insert but I'm so attached to Glacial that I don't know if I if I can do it <laughs> like I have such an emotional attachment to Glacial now she's so cool So I don't think that's going to be happening. It's a shame that I killed Winter. Because of course I started off as a cat girl called Winter. But then I realized everyone was a cat girl. I was like, eh, yeah, nope, I prefer a bit of variety and switch to a bunny girl instead. Which, thinking about it, actually, I could have just waited to get a Fantasia and changed Winter like that instead of making a whole new character. To be fair, I didn't know those existed at the time. God damn it. I wasted, like, 30 hours of my life. Oh, that was the end of the race. I completely zoned out. Three more. Beep. 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 Boop. I wasn't in time with the actual countdown at all. Okay. Came in a little hot there. I'm going to have to be so careful because of the rain. I 
I remember thinking as a child that just like weather didn't affect driving at all. Where like rain would happen and I'd be like, oh, it's raining now. But then I was just so like mindless when playing games that I wouldn't notice that the, the vehicle was controlled any different or connect it in my head that it's because of the rain. And I would just continue like normal. What simple times. Eh. Eee. Panic noise. Fuck. Going into a corner with little enough speed that you don't just go flying out of the corner, but with enough speed to make sure you keep drifting. I think that's what makes the rain so difficult, is the the window between those two options is so fine. It's easy to mess it up. Like that, I went a little too slow. That was all right. With that name of the developer's fun selector, because of the K, I, for a long time I was reading it as Fun Skeletor. Which, thinking, now that I've said it out loud, that's fucking stupid and doesn't make any sense. But still. Come on. Nearly there. I really can't wait until I can buy some new blue light filter glasses. Because this really has made a difference. Especially right now, where I am actually spending all day every day sat at this computer. Ooh. Thankfully, because of the generosity of you people at home, I am able to. Oh, well, or either this month or next month, I don't know. And who knows, next month I could have a full-time job, so I'd probably be able to anyway. But, still. I think if I do get a full-time job, uh, I will actually make a schedule. Because, of course, I'll have that on the when I'm going to be busy and when I'm not. It'll be easier to make a consistent schedule. With like two days off each week where I'd be going to the gym instead. That's right, not an actual day off. It'd be silly. I just why was that those like barriers there? Like the train barriers that stop the car from moving forward and the train comes? I 
This is giving me an idea. I'm going to have to think about when I've got a clear ahead. Right now, we're going a bit mushy. Nice. The last straight, or the last turns. You know what I mean? The last bit. To rule them all. It's going to be the funniest one ever. You're not going to have seen anything like it. Here we go. Righto. This is going to be my best race I've ever done. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Flawless, flawless. Fuck. I just completely... I don't know why I took my finger off the accelerator then. So long. I think you can set this up with a wheel. Probably. You can do anything with, like, Steam's controller settings these days. You can turn any input to, into any input. zoned out too much there. I, it's definitely good that I'm ending stream. I'm zoning out now. I'm kind of at that point. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I'm staring at this blue car going up these grey lines. That you can kind of get hypnotized on it. You know what I mean? Where you kind of stop thinking and it just becomes... You're just going through the motions, man. You know? And with that, I'd like to announce that I will be in a critical role. Of just long... Rose is just long shoelaces. Why shoelaces in particular? A roll in a uh, surfs up two. I'll be playing as the penguin. You look like shoelaces. Yeah. Yeah. You throw some shoelaces on the floor. That's a road design for your next game or whatever. Okay, true though. Yeah, it, it would actually probably work pretty well. You'd have to do a couple of little adjustments, but... Mostly stage wins. I am fantastic. Stig Bloomist. We got another van. That is just a straight up van. That's cube van.
I need to go through the entirety of Group S today. Well done, me. Ugh. <laughs> But I'm sorry to say, I must be on my way. That wasn't an intentional rhyme, but I'll take it anyway. Ha! <laughs> Killing it. All right, I'm gonna go and get some food and look after myself. Probably write some stuff up. I don't know. We'll see what time it will be. All right. Thank you anyone for being here, and I'll see you probably tomorrow. Who knows? Thank <laughs> you.